Today we're talking about the valve index and more importantly, the future of valve. So it's been about a week since we had launch information regarding the Valve Index and the Oculus Quest, and now we have pricing information and release dates. We have the Oculus Quest bringing in high adoption rates, and we have the Valve Index that's aiming for higher fidelity. So it's a best of both worlds. If you've been living under a rock and you don't have information on these two products, I recommend videos by Tested. They are the hands down best combination of technical information, entertainment, and actual hands-on testing that I've seen online. I will link them below. You check them out if you want like a deep dive or a deeper dive into these products. So now that we know about this hardware, it's time for us to focus our attention into what the actual future of Valve will be. While Valve's goal may be to push the VR industry forward, this hardware isn't gonna be the type of hardware that pushes their company forward. Unfortunately, Valve has been living off of their distribution platform, their legacy, and their name for far too long. Now, if you're an older guy like me, you might recognize Valve as one of the all-time best video game developers. But that's over a decade ago. And it's actually been six years since Valve has released any high-quality game. And that would be Dota 2. And also within the last decade, they've had numerous flops. The Steam Controller, Steam Boxes, Artifact, none of these did too well. They're also currently under assault by Epic, so their distribution platform is at risk. That's their biggest money maker. Now Valve has always seemed to have noble intentions. They're always trying to push the gaming industry forward and they're willing to go out on a limb and try new things. And occasionally, like the Steam Controller, it does end up in a flop. But it's great that we have someone taking that risk. But at this point, Valve now needs to impress us again. While the Valve Index does look impressive, the current reviews that you can check out now are all positive, and it actually sold out within 25 minutes, this isn't the product that's gonna push the, the company forward. Their means of production are really small, so they can't mass produce this product. Uh, they said it was gonna be a small run. So, yes, uh, product sales are pushed all the way back to September now from June, but it's not like they're gonna be selling millions of these. So this brings us full circle back to Valve creating software, what they used to do and what they were originally known for. And we have a VR flagship title coming by the end of the year. What this title is, we don't know, we can only speculate. People are saying Half-Life, Left 4 Dead, Counter-Strike or they're coming up with something completely new that's you know gonna wow us. Unfortunately though, VR titles aren't very lucrative. So even if it's an extremely well done game, the best VR game ever made, sales are gonna pale in comparison to a 2D title that's as well produced. Now, obviously Valve knows this, so does this open up the door for something like a cross-platform? application where you're going to be able to play uh, 2D and in VR or flat screen and VR. Some other games have uh, successfully done this like Rec Room and Payday 2. So at this point I'm extremely optimistic for Valve and what they're going to show us but they're at the point where they have to do something. Their distribution platform is under assault. They haven't made a good game in six years. Yes, they're producing cool hardware, but it's nothing that's gonna move the company forward. And they haven't impressed us and have kind of sat still for way too long. So Valve, it's your time to strike. Release something amazing, blow our minds. What do you guys think? What does Valve need to do? What are they gonna do? Is Valve planning a nice triumphant return with Half-Life VR 3, the prelude? come back. I don't know guys, let me know what you think. And as always, if you like this content, leave a thumbs up, maybe drop a comment or subscribe. I'll see you guys on next time.